Eleanor of Florence Nightingale, the mother of modern nursing. But there was someone, many centuries before her, who nursed soldiers during battles is our hero. Rufada al-Islamiya, who lived during the time of the Prophet Muhammad. She is the first female nurse and surgeon. Rufada was curious about the human body. Her father, who was a healer, taught her about it from a very young age. She learned how to take care of the sick and techniques on how to heal the wounded. Rufada was so dedicated to learning about the human body and healing people that she became one of the most sought after healers in the community. Her skills became critical during battles. With Prophet Muhammad's permission, she set up tents along with female volunteers to treat the wounded. Rufada was the one who trained these volunteers. Prophet Muhammad trusted her abilities so much that there were many wounded soldiers he requested to only be taken to her tent for treatment. Not only did she nurse them, but she also performed surgery to save lives. It didn't matter how scary the battles were or how hot the weather was, Rufada and the volunteers persisted in saving as many lives as they could. Rufada's contribution was not only limited to battles. She also designed the first ever documented mobile care units that could be moved from town to town to treat people. Rufada advocated washing hands and other hygiene practices way back then to prevent many diseases. Today, she is still remembered by the RCS Medical University in Bahrain, who awards the best nursing student with the Rufada al Aslamiya Prize every year. Rufada is another example of a Muslim woman from the time of Prophet Muhammad who followed a path that may be surprising to many people today. She is one of the thousands of early Muslim women who were strong Muslims and followed their dreams and helped the world become a better place. The story was prepared from a book, Stories of 20 Mighty Muslim Heroes.